All right, welcome back to the 316 Soccer Show. I'm Peter Espinosa alongside Cliff Brown, Blake Shoemaker, and joining us now is Linda Squires, the uh, SCSA League Administrator. Linda, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Um, all right, well, you're, now you're the league administrator. I know there's a, a lot of things happening right now coming up uh, with SCSA. Something new that just uh, came out today on the website, the, uh, the refereeing class um, that you, you can actually get a credit for at WSU. Tell us a little bit about that and um, what someone would need to do to get in, enrolled in that, involved in that, to uh, take the refereeing class. Well, basically, it's going to be January 17th through March 9th. It's going to be Tuesdays from 4 to 6. It's an eight-week class and it's worth one credit hour to undergrads or graduates. Um, the class meets, you just get certified to be a referee uh, for high school games and all USSF. And are you expecting, and I know this is fairly new, but are you expecting this is going to be a, you know, a popular thing? That's going to, it, it, is, it, is the enrollment going to be good? Or, or have people shown interest in this before? Or has this been an idea that's been kind of evolved into it actually happening, or was it just a suggestion? How did it come about? It's kind of a new idea. Um, not real sure what to expect. I think they're expecting at least a minimum of 30 people for the first go-round. What? Uh, 30? I mean, that sounds like a good number. Well, that's it's a good start. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so you got that, SCSA. What else? Uh, spring registration's coming up. Tell us spring, reg spring registration times, what people need to do, and, you know, anything else? Is there any? But, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about that. Basically, spring registration is really easy. Most of our teams have already played with this, so it's just they're returning. Their deadline for the older teams is going to be February 7th. Our younger teams is February 14th. And they've already done the paperwork. They're just re-signing up the team and paying the fees again. Peter, she's sent from heaven. She said easy, and I'm going to have to disagree. <laughs> I've seen her when registration time comes. She's cool, calm, and collective, but it's everything but easy. Everybody waits till the last minute. They do. They do. The deadline day, they think that's Is there a time the that day. they can start coming in early that you they, encourage, hey, if you've got multiple teams, if you've got a club that's got seven, eight teams, when can they start coming in to make it They can it call me, and they can make an appointment. Okay. And I like to do that outside of my normal business hours because it makes it a lot easier on myself. Awesome. I don't like it when people come in and it's like the tag office and you oh, have yeah. 50 people <laughs> the tag standing office. there. It absolutely <laughs> is for her. It Pretty is. Much. It's a train it is, wreck and everybody's is. cutting in line, sticking their head in. It Linda, is. Linda, I'm here, I'm here. And yeah, I just I mean, keep smiling. She is. is it, what else no, can no, you no, do? No, no, you mentioned the tag office. Do they come in and is there, is there a thing where you take a number? <laughs> yeah. No, but no, they it's, should. It, <laughs> it's kind of get it like Tyson. You get in line if somebody cuts, you know. Oh, yeah. People get really mean. Linda, you mentioned the older and younger teams. What's the age difference? What's the age uh, okay. cut off when you mentioned that. Okay, so the older teams, when I talk older, and to us that is U11 to U19 teams, so through high school. And then the younger teams is our U5 to U10. Great. Have we seen an increase? I know last the last two registrations, uh, I've, I've talked to you in the past and you mentioned that there's there's quite a bit of difference in the amount of teams registering. Is is it true? Is am I wrong by assuming that the last two years, or the last two registrations, we've actually set records each year in, in Sedgwick County from teams that have been enrolled? So we there's have. more players playing. We have, and I can honestly tell you, my numbers hit over three thousand this year. Wow! First time ever, and I've been doing That's this for amazing. twelve years. First time over three thousand. That's great. Where so, do you where do you see the biggest growth? We see the biggest growth in. U7 and the U8. Okay. And so those are the ones we want to retain them because they are the future. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to high school level and these kids are getting jobs, getting boyfriends, girlfriends. You know, it's hard to get them to practice. It's hard to have them show up for Guilty. games. Yeah. It's, so, always, it's always been the case. You know, I've been, I've been coaching youth soccer in Wichita since the early 80s. And anytime I've been involved with the high school teams, it's always a pain because they have so many distractions. And some of them, you know, also jobs, things they have to do. It but is. it's very, very difficult. Yeah. Very now, this is, this is a question I ask everybody because of the renewed wings. Um, you have worked with LeBaron in the past. He's been involved with SCSA. Um, what was your experience with LeBaron, you know, before he took the head coaching job for the wings? Well, I, and LeBaron and I go way back. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you he also, he is part of our board because he is our director of officials. And his presence out there has just made a complete difference. People behave so much better. I think they see him. Our officiating's better. He's just made a, a world of difference. And and he continues to be involved. He even does. Though, even though he's you know head coach. Of the oh, now. absolutely. The the good thing about he's doing the wings, but that's a different time frame than when our seasons are. So when he's done, we start, mm -hmm. which has been. Very good. That impact goes beyond the youth, though, because he's also a college official now. Yeah. And his his um, presence in a college game, there, there are very few officials in Wichita. There's, I, I allow like four or five to do my, my centers. And LeBaron was new this year, but we encouraged him to come out and ref. 
and I'll tell you right now, his approach is game management is really a very much a different level than most of the other people that, that are officiating games. And it's really added a lot to the college game as well. So it's not yeah. just a youth soccer. No, not at all. But like you say, presence is everything. Mm -hmm. it, it's amazing the difference he makes. Yeah, I've never met anybody that didn't say, hey, on or off the field, refing, coaching, Photography, he's into photography yeah. heavily. I found so, out a couple days ago. Page. Yeah, yeah, that's that's his thing. He's yeah, ask him a coaching question, no reply. But he's photography, up, bang. You know what? Zoom get, three times. He was close to doing yeah. a photograph a day, and he <laughs> let down when he signed when he takes he, over the wings. I have the Facebook, I have the commitment, yeah. and he let it down. Everybody, very this now. guy knows says, you know what? Most of all, he's a really good man. And it does. It, it's it's contagious, and it is. you know, I, I I feel like better guy for knowing him too. He calms me down sometimes, when, and you know how I get. I mean, that's difficult. That. That's difficult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she did look at me when she said, you know, everybody's calmer. No, she said everybody's <laughs> behaving better. No, everybody's think, behaving better. I think you're the exception that proves the rule. <laughs> I just want to say, I've never thrown a bottle of water at an official. At In what you saw. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, yeah. staying with the wings, uh, we were talking about your seats going to the games before. Um, how has how your experience been with the new wings out at Harbin Arena? You know, I've been to some of the games. It's been good. Our, our community is very excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, granted, it's indoor. It's different than what we have because we're outdoor. But just getting kids involved, community involved, it's big. And you know, a, a lot of times when I'm talking to people about the wings and tell them about them who aren't as, you know, educated about it as I am. I tell them, you know, the youth, the youth, not just in, in Wichita, but everywhere, especially since the wings, since the wings folded in uh, 01, you know, it's grown an incredible amount. And that, I think that's where a lot of the crowd is going to come from. You know, the youth are going to hear about it, hear about the wings coming back. Maybe they had heard about it a little bit from their parents. They're going to hear there's a professional team coming in. They're going to say, hey, I want to go see them. Let's go do this. You know, and the parents take their kids. Their kids have friends. Their kids have brothers and sisters. And they all come out, and you know, and I would imagine being involved in so much youth soccer, there's quite a bit of buzz with all the kids that you see and that you're around every day. There, there's a lot of that, and just the games I've been to, all I see are people that I recognize. It, mm -hmm. It's crazy because they're all out there. They all want. There's a lot of hype about it. Yeah, it's it may be indoor soccer, and, and you're outdoor soccer, and I'm outdoor soccer. Right. But the benefits that the, that a professional franchise brings flow over into both of our areas. Yeah. The kids that are developing, that helps me. I get, you know, the, the best years of recruiting from Wichita for me were the years where the wings were very, very big. And the impact they had, the enthusiasm, the kids growing up wanting to play, wanting to play professionally, very, very different than this period of time where we didn't have the teams, uh, the team here to, to influence it. There's been a real decline in the, the quality of players and the number, the number of players in terms of the upper ages, like you say, they kind oh, of deteriorate. Yeah. Yeah. When you have when you have the pro franchise here, they tend to stay involved a little bit more. They have a little bit more of a goal. They have a little bit more enthusiasm. And I'm really pleased to see. I can already start to see the way people are acting, the way they're approaching it now. I think it's going to be a big benefit to all outdoor soccer in Wichita as well. Oh, I think so. Yeah, just yeah. to get more competitive, uh, the more competitive game, it's, it makes it available for AYSO. Uh, YMCA players, these guys to come out, they already play. I mean, you know, it's 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 the fact that right now in the United States there's more registered youth soccer players than any other sports. Same way in Sedgwick County. Yeah. It, it gives us an opportunity for these kids that are playing at more of a recreational level to see the game at a competitive level, and maybe we get them out and they can, and you know, we can get them in front of the right trainers and, and uh, the right staff at the CSA. Well, and a lot of the players themselves have been involved with a lot of our teams. Yeah. And that's a big plus as and, well. And, you know, we all look for that more in the spring. That That's going to oh, be great, yeah. having those guys out walking around, yep. running training sessions for teams that's they've done a pretty good job of that right yeah. now in the off season and you go uh, back in the old years it was the same way you know really really years you had frank rasmussen was out helping coach at derby into the youth and all those guys when i came here i was involved from the very start mm -hmm. you know when i came in yeah always around the soccer west always. even even you know running well, the cash register if you had to you know, okay. well i ran the referees out there and then i ran the old arena on the east side we won't talk about that too much <laughs> came to a couple of times <laughs> But, um, you know, it's all those players have always given a lot back. You know, we, we talk about Eddie Henderson, and uh, you can talk about Kevin Cooley and, and some of the guys that are playing for the Wings now, Brian Cushing, Larry Enlow, all, the, all these guys that have just always been involved in Wichita Youth Soccer. You know, Brian coached with the, uh, the, the Pumas for years and, and, yeah. and won a, a championship with them. And it's, it's just they, they bring so much back to the game that it's, it's, it's really you, you can't even measure the impact that it has. Another name that got his start coaching, he coach trained uh, in the off season, ran camps. Tom Sowen, who wasn't uh, statistically, you look at Tommy Sowen's stats as a wings player, Tommy played for was a long a fabulous time. Fabulous player, very quick, you know, but it didn't hit, a, didn't light up the stat sheets, assists and goals and points. 
but you know he ended up going on from the youth level, uh, built his way up and, and coached the MLS. Uh, well, he coached club, so, Vancouver, and yeah. yes, yeah. still, but has been in the MLS programs for quite a few years now. So. No, Tommy was a great defender. You know, I had pleasure of playing with him a little bit in '91, and he was just a, a great guy to have in front of me. He had his, his way of playing, which was different than other defenders, but from a goalkeeper standpoint, as long as you know what he's going to do and he communicates very well, fabulous. Absolutely explosive. First, I, first step was fabulous and so strong, get, winning balls. And again, you know, he, he gave a lot back to the game, and he still does. Yeah, had a, had a, had a great time uh, in camps and, and getting coaching from him and Eddie and those guys as well. Tommy's one of them, my favorites, actually. Yeah. Never a negative thing out of his mouth. No, nope. no. All right, uh, now, Linda, before we let you go, you know, you spend a lot of time you're around these kids who play soccer all the time and who go to the Wings games. When they talk about their experience at the Wings games, do any of them – do they talk about a specific experience, a specific player that's their favorite so far in the season? What what, what are the kids talking about uh, in terms of the wings? Okay, so some of the older kids, you hear you hear the Jamie Harding, you hear the Brian Cushing, the Larry Enlow, the ones that, you know, played in the past. Mm -hmm. So you hear that. Now the new ones, the name I keep hearing is... Uh, Chili, Butter, chili. yes. Chili. <laughs> I hear everything about chili. Yeah, chili, chili, chili. Yeah. My kid's a huge Freddie Mujan fan, and yeah, all, all his teammates Freddie thought too. he was crazy until the game that he had four goals and an assist, mm -hmm. and then had Freddie, Freddie Mujan was great, yeah. you know, but but for that, uh, yeah. I had my kid watching Freddie highlights for about a year before that, and then <laughs> and they might sell yeah. last year, so he, he was ready for it, but... Yeah. 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 All right, Linda, once again, uh, Linda Squires, the SCSA League Administrator. We thank you for your time, and uh, good luck with all everything that's coming up with the SCSA. Thank you. One more thing before Last Linda thing. goes. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much uh, for taking time out of your day. Did we mention the tournament? There's a new tournament for the SCSA this year. Yes, You're is. excited about it. I'm excited. Um, we're very excited. We are trying to get the paperwork out there now. We are contacting Missouri, Oklahoma, Nebraska, all the surrounding states. Just to have it be something new. Um, we haven't had a tournament here since Air Cap went away. Yeah. So well, this is new. This is going to be exciting. It is during State Cup weekend. We realize that, but not a lot of teams go to State Cup. They're not at that level. Right. So this is still going to be an open tournament. It'll be competitive. So for U8 to U18 teams. Yeah, maybe you can you can set an area where you say, hey, we're going to be the most competitive tournament in this region from uh, even U8 to U12 and get some of those pre-State Cup teams that are already at that level and, and the right, you know, there's a lot of Tulsa programs, Oklahoma City, there Kansas is. City, that have very competitive programs yeah. that, that are already competitive at U8, U9, U10. Yeah. Yep. So good luck with that. And anybody that's watching, if you're not going to State Cup, get out there because this deal affects all of us. Uh, it, it builds our facility. All the money's going back in, sponsored and presented by Mel Hamilton Ford. Yep. So sure uh, we, we appreciate their support. And, uh, yeah, thanks for helping and everything you do. All right. Thanks a lot. Yep. All right. We'll take a quick break. Once again, thanks to Linda Squires. And we will be right back on 316 Soccer Show.